Hi and welcome to another One and Done here with Mr. Besh. What this is, is this is a sample question from the Pennsylvania Keystone Test for Algebra 1. And it's a pretty basic question. And what's happening is we are asked to choose the equation that the graph is describing. All right. And if you notice all of our answer choices, every one of our equations down here, all four of them, are in what we refer to as slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b, where the value, the coefficient in front of x in each of these cases is the slope, and the value at the end is the y-intercept. The first thing I always tell students is look at the direction in which the line is traveling. Our line is traveling from left to right going up. That means my slope has to be positive. Usually I can roll out one or two of the answers in a multiple choice test based on this, but here I can't because all four slopes are positive. What I can determine immediately is that my y-intercept is the point in which my line crosses the y-axis, and it crosses right there, and that is 3. So if you look at my equations, only two of them have a y-intercept value of 3. So that means I can cross out answers A and C as not possible candidates. Now I have to determine whether my slope is 1 half, or 2. To do this, take any point on your line and travel up and over. As long as you stay on the line and you continue in that pattern, this is using the rise of the run technique, you'll determine whether I go up 2 and over 1 for a slope of 2 or up 1 and over 2 for a slope of 1 half. So if I start down here and go up 2 and then over 1, notice I'm on the line again. Up 2 over 1 up 2 over 1. So now what this just did was this eliminated my answer B. And this is it. The equation of this graph here is y equals 2x plus 3 using simply identifying the y-intercept where my line crosses my y-axis. It is always that value at the end. And my rise over my run, 2 over 1, which is the slope in front of x. I hope you found this video both helpful and informative.